Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two high-end tubes. I've been online and I found two home decor pieces that I fell in love with and I wanted to recreate for a whole lot less. So stay tuned for this. For my first dupe, I found this beautiful wooden piece, Yin Yang, on Etsy, and they wanted 22.84 euros for it. I knew I could do it for a whole lot less, and for that I needed a scrap piece of wood, like this one. And I took a plastic lid as my template, it was just the right size to draw a circle on my piece of wood. And it looks like this. Perfect. Now it's a matter of cutting it out. So I go outside and I take my jigsaw and I start cutting just very very carefully away for my safety of course but then again to get it as round as possible so i don't need to do that much of uh, after work now i need to draw the yin yang shapes so I took a round shape that was just half the diameter of the full circle. You see me drawing two circles there. Perfect. And then I go in and uh, accentuate the shape that I need to cut out. As you see me do here. And this will be the tricky part to cut out because I really need to follow that line because I need both pieces to look good so I can't mess up. And um, took my jigsaw and voila, I did it. I'm so proud of myself for making that beautiful cut. So now I need to find the center of my circles. So I just take a tape measure and um, make several measurements until I found a common spot that is the center of my circle. I like that. Same on the other one. And then I take a drill bit and drilling away to make a pilot hole right through my piece like that same on the other one and then my husband came home and helped me with the big guns to make a bigger hole and he can't uh, do it from just one side had to turn it and do the rest from the other side and we got a hole there Now starts the really hard work in making my piece beautiful. I want to round the edges so I'm using my rasp here, a rough one and a finer one as well. So I'm going over the edges and try to make it as even as possible. This video is part of the Look For Less Challenge hosted by Yami at the Latina Next Door. And if you're not familiar with Yami and her channel, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave a link down in my description to her channel, along with a link to the playlist of this challenge, so you can get loads and loads of dupe inspiration
Now it's time for my electric sander to do a good job on the surfaces, both sides and a little bit on the edge as well, as much as I can reach with this sander. And if we compare the two pieces, you can see here that it already looks a lot nicer after sanding. So I go ahead with the other one as well. And then I'm back inside using just sandpaper to get that really, really nice finish and to reach into the nooks and crannies that I can't reach with the electric sander. And in these holes, I will put these tea light holders, which will give it a very high end and polished look. I'm not quite finished. One of my yin yang pieces, I'm going to whitewash. As you see here, I just took some white acrylic paint and diluted it with some water. So I paint it on and uh, just a rub of the excess and it gives it a nice white wash and the other piece i'm taking a natural oak stain and put that on i know the original is much darker but i wanted to go for lighter tones still see the difference which you will see but more in the lighter color scheme you will see same here, putting it on with a paintbrush and then taking off the excess with just a piece of paper. On the back side of my pieces I will put some pads for it not to scratch the surface it will sit on and then I'm done really. here it is looking beautiful I think I'm so proud of myself for making this it's not complete complete perfection but I love it tell me what do you think and the only money I spent was on the tea light holders about two dollars for the two of them compared to 25 dollars for the one on Etsy for my second dupe, I went to the website of Maison du Monde and found this beautiful painting, just so simple, and they charge 73.50 for it in euros. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I want to make my version of it, and I have a slightly bigger canvas that I bought for 550 euros, and I have already painted one coat of a white acrylic on it didn't need to see that that's boring to paint white on white but i wanted a base coat now i'm figuring out where to put my birds and um, i was a bit like nervous how do i make them come alive i went for black and gray tones on my birds and I looked a little bit at the original, but then figure out it doesn't need to be perfect. When you look up at the sky and see a flock of birds, you can't see the details of the birds. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm just painting away here. And the canvas that I'm using is 120 centimeters times 40 centimeters. If you're new to my channel, hi. I am Marika 
and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. On the left hand side of my canvas, where I don't have any birds just yet, I will put on a text, a text that I find very inspiring and it says, divided we fall, united we fly. I think that was very appropriate. So I take uh, some carbon paper and put it underneath my text and just trace the wording. I wanted to have that font that looks like a typewriter, an old typewriter. So that was what I'm going for. You can hardly see the tracing. I still looked at the printed text, but to have somewhat a sense of the spacing of the words, it's good to have that trace there. So I'm working on my text here. And then I continued to paint my birds until I was happy with the number of birds that I put on the canvas. I decided to go for 26 birds. It was a very fitting number and the number 2 and 6 makes 8 and 8 stands for manifestation which I think is a great message together with my text. Unity is something that I wish to manifest for humanity. I thought the text was a little bit sharp looking so I took some white acrylic and dry brushed my letters to dull them down a little bit. Then it's just a matter of signing my painting and put it in place. But before I put it in place I need to prepare where I want my painting to sit and it's right over that side table I decided to pare things down I had a lot of holes there so I would fill them let it dry and then I wanted to make a frame so I taped it off with the masking tape as you can see here and that inner part I want to have white and uh, then the frame in a darker green and this is just the first coat i will go over it once more and take off the painter's tape and put my painting in place et voila here it is looking beautiful i think Tell me, what did you think of my creations today? Are they good dupes? I love how they turned out. Let me know in the comments. Did you have a favorite? And to compare them, 81 US dollars compared to mine, 6 US dollars. So now it's time to head on over to my description and hit that playlist link to this challenge so you can get more high-end dupe inspiration. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.